this is Adin Gobeni. I am originally from Pushpa Creech in a small place called Lomagashe. I did my MBCHB degree at uh, Sifako Makato Health Sciences University, then Medunsa. And after that, I further did my postgraduate diploma in occupational medicine and health um, with the University of Pretoria tax. And now I'm busy doing some training um, in aesthetics um, through the American Academy of Aesthetics. Um, I'm currently in Brett's town uh, in private practice. I'm working both as a general medical practitioner and as an aesthetic doctor. I'd like to thank you, Selu, for giving me this opportunity to share my journey with you both as a student and as a doctor. Honestly, um, growing up, I don't think I wanted to become a doctor. But you know, when you grow up and at the school, at home, in the community, everyone sees you as this smart kid, especially in the rural areas when you're this smart kid, and you're automatically channeled into being a doctor, into medicine. You know, everyone knows that, ah, we've got a smart kid here at home, then we have a doctor. But, well, as I went into it, I fell in love with it. And I am loving being a doctor. I am loving the career of, of medicine. Um, being a doctor, what it meant to me, actually, it, it really came with some responsibilities, um, you know, which initially were a bit overwhelming. But with time, then I really understand that it, it, it meant uh, making sure that uh, my community or the people that I serve, you know, I give the best um, or I try to give my best in terms of assisting with their health care, you know, holistically, be it physically, be it emotionally, be it psychologically. Um, that degree gave me that responsibility to say, now you'll be dealing with our people, give back into the community, assist in terms of healthcare. Um, what I wish I knew before following this career, it's actually to understand that, uh, it's actually many points, number one, to understand that medicine is an evolving career. You are always learning every day. And uh, as you grow, you need to know that every day it's a new day, you'll come across something new. You must always be prepared to learn. You must always be open to new interventions. You know, that is one point. And the other important point that I wish I knew is that uh, to know that with uh, medicine, you it becomes part of you, you know. You cannot separate yourself from the career. You cannot say, no, this is a job that I leave at work once I leave at 5 p.m. No, even when you get home, you know, you still a doctor, you know, as a mother, you still a doctor. You go out into the community, people, when they see you, before they see Suzanne, they see a doctor. So it's a career that becomes part of you. And once we embrace that, you know, then we're able to enjoy and, and, and love more the, the, the job, the career. Um, what I wish I knew before I came into this career, it's... Uh, it's to know that medicine is an evolving career, you know, everything you, every day you're learning something new. Um, like recently, we all know that there was COVID, something that is new, and we all had to learn in the job, you know, we all had to learn as we were going. And the other thing is, um, then medicine, it was more focused into healing, you know, the sick, you know, and now the preventative healthcare part of it is coming into more, um, it's taking more space, you know. And the other thing is there's aesthetics, which is something new, you know. Now everyone wants to be beautiful. So if we can also know and embrace that, that in medicine, every day you're going to grow, you need to follow the trends, you need to, to follow what is coming new, we're going to love it. Um, the most rewarding part of my career being a doctor, it's, it's actually two things that I enjoy the most, you know. It's number one, it's seeing a smile on my patient's face. That fulfills me, you know, I feel like I have done my part. And the other part also is, is discharging someone home, you know. 
they come in, they are sick, they can't do anything. And now at the end of whatever number of days they've stayed in the hospital, now you're sending them back home, you're sending them back to their family, sending them back to their community, you're sending them back to work. Those are the two things that are fulfilling to me, you know, in this career as I go. Patient that I will never forget. Um, it was one patient actually, he was from Mozambique. He had a bilateral femur fracture and uh, he was out of work now and he had to be sent back home in Mozambique um, to recuperate. Um, he was on temporary disability for a period of about six months. And I remember when I managed to organize and send him a wheelchair, you know, all the way from this side to the rurals of Mozambique. Um, the jubilation, you know, the happiness, it, it was not only for him, it was also for the whole community, you know. That is when I realized that sometimes we think what we're giving is small, but we don't really realize the impact that it has in the community. Uh, the most difficult time as a student, your second year, I will never forget it anatomy and physiology you know i think we all know that first year you're still doing physics you're still doing chemistry so it's more the things that you're doing in high school but then come second year it's something completely new a new language there's embryology you are learning medical terms yo i remember first day at the dissection hall my first encounter with a cadaver oh my word but yeah, then I realized, okay, I needed to put my all. I needed to work harder. I needed to let go of other things. I'm sure all of you, you know, anatomy, all those nerves, all those arteries, the groups of muscles that you have to go through. It was a lot. But, and I even remember, you know, at the end of the year, I think physiology also, my overall year mark was 51. You can see how close I was. That was the most difficult year that I went through. In 10 years, which I think both it was internship and uh, community service, they were exciting, but also they were overwhelming. Because then now, then I had to make decisions. Now I'm a doctor, uh, before you call the senior who is in charge, you needed to start with interventions, you know. So when the patient comes to the first point of contact, you need to act. I must say it was, it was exciting because then I felt like now I'm a doctor, yes. But also it was scary because now um, every mistake I did, it meant it might cost a patient's life. So I needed to be on my toes, you know, and also the fact that then we had to rotate to many dis different uh, disciplines. That also, it was another tough one because now towards the end of the rotation, now you feel like, okay, now I've grasped this. Now I know this, now I understand. Then it's, that it's time to start with a new rotation. It made it a bit tricky, a bit overwhelming, but uh, also it was it was fulfilling, I must say, because then I grew more, my confidence grew, that actually all what I've learned the past six years, I actually know it, and I'm able to put it into practice. And the rotation that I enjoyed as an intern, actually, it was just pediatrics. What I loved about pediatrics, actually mostly it's uh, it more like sharpened my skill as a doctor. You know, if you were able to put an IV line in a baby in neonatology, then automatically it will be easy for you to put it in an adult. If you're able to do a blood gas in a neonate, then it sharpened more your skill. But mostly what I loved about it is that the connection with the patients, you know, the pediatric patients. It was a beautiful uh, connection, you know, when they, yes, first day it's difficult for them separating from the parents as you take them in, admit, but as you follow up, you do the word rounds, you know, you develop a special connection with your patients. 
And the other beauty part of it is that, you know, Pete's patient is when they are sick, they are really physically sick. There is nothing psychological or emotionally that is presenting as a physical symptom. They're actually sick and hence when you treat them, you, you really, when they feel better, you can really see it. it. It's easy for you to see that, okay, my patient is doing well now. And I really enjoy pediatrics and I thought I was going to follow up, specialize in pediatrics, but well, yeah, life happens. That's a story for another day. Um, what kept me going when the road was tough? Um, what I can say is I think I had a good uh, support system in terms of friends. You know, we all had same dreams. We all had same visions. We wanted to see ourselves at the end of the six years, graduating as doctors. And when it was tough for one party, you know, we we'll gang around her and support her and pull her up, you know. So we understood that, yes, we are sisters in this journey. Um, when one is struggling, because really, uh, as a student, as a medical student, or uh, as an, any university student, there's many challenges, you know, that we come across. Yes, it's the new environment is the cause. Yes, we're experiencing new things. We're experiencing life. We're experiencing boyfriends. We're experiencing clubbing. But when you have friends that have shared the same goal with you, it's easy to say, hey, come back. It looks like now you're going out of the way. So I must say my group of friends... They, they really help me. And to students that are there, it's make sure that friends that you choose, you choose wisely. Make sure that you choose people who share the same visions, who share the same goals. Because also when it's time to work hard, if you guys are all in the same boat, you're all going to put your same weight. You're all going to work hard towards the same goal. And it's going to be an easy ride for you. And also... What keeps me going now as an independent practitioner is to know that um, when it's tough, when I'm not able to do it, I must call, ask for help. You know, don't, medicine is very broad. You can never know everything, you know. So when you hit the wall, take a phone, ask your next colleague. You'll be surprised how they're always willing to assist, you know. If whatever discipline it is, there's always a specialist around. Even our teaching centers, they are always willing to help. You know, if you feel it's a patient that you can't manage, send them over. Send them over. Somebody will be able to assist. That is all I can say. And in closing, I'd like to say medicine, it's a beautiful field. It's an enjoyable career. And we still need more doctors. And if there are those that are interested in doing it, they must go for it. They just need to know that they are going to work hard. They just need to know that it takes dedication. And, but it is beautiful. It is enjoyable. Take it from me. I am loving every day of it with its challenges, with its uphill. I feel like I am growing every day. And in closing, I'd like to say medicine, it's a beautiful field. It's an enjoyable career and we still need more doctors. And if there are those that are interested in doing it, they must go for it. They just need to know that they are going to work hard. They just need to know that it takes dedication. And, but it is beautiful. It is enjoyable. Take it from me. I am loving every day of it with its challenges, with its uphill. I feel like I am growing every day. And my advice to students that are already in medicine now, I know the journey sometimes looks difficult. I know the journey sometimes looks impossible. You know, when you look forward, you look at this number of years, you feel like it's not doable. I want them to know that it is possible. They need to take a deep breath, relax, study their books, enjoy every moment of it, and work hard and they will make it my advice to students who want to get into medicine um, is that they need to know that because there's this notion that medicine is for intelligent students or for intelligent ones 
Actual medicine, it's not for intelligent people because I remember during my years, we had very bright student, intelligent students who actually didn't get to complete their degree. Medicine, it takes hard work. Medicine, it takes dedication. So those that want to go into medicine, all I want to say to them is they need to know that they are going to work hard. They need to know that they are going to be committed. It looks glamorous from outside when you're looking, but the hard work that goes into it, it, it takes you. And if you are not prepared for that, you might find yourself being frustrated, you know, along the way. You might find yourself feeling like, no, this is not something that I want to do, you know. So that is all I can say is they need to be committed. They need to be sure they want to do this field, you know, because not only as a student, now when you're working as a doctor, it's not easy working in the hospital. It's not easy being on call. It's not easy missing out on fun, missing out on family gatherings, missing out on party because you have to be on call. So it's things that they need to know. But overall, it is a beautiful film. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 